Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video here. Um, I tested the chlorine in this pool and it was absolutely zero. And we can't have that because we, we're going to deal with some algae issues real quick here in this weather. So anyway, I went back to my truck, got my salt tester because this is a salt pool. This is the salt tester I'm using. If you can see that. Anyway, I'm going to dip it in and see where we're at. I don't know if you can read that or not, but we're at around 3,400, which is perfect. So now I'm going to go back to this system because my gut feeling is this uh, system was newly installed, but in the winter time. So that means the, the salt cell probably wasn't programmed yet. And this is the first time it's being used. So let me check to see, and we'll go into the automation. This is an easy touch, Pentair. So to check to see if the salt cell is even turned on, we're going to go into the settings here, click on menu, and then go down to settings, select. Then we're going to go down to IntelliClor, select, and there it is. 0%. So we're not producing any chlorine, yet there's all this salt in the pool. Um, but we're not telling the, chlor the, the salt. You see, the, the, the panel communicates to the cell at how much chlorine to produce. And right now, it, the, the panel is saying produce 0%. So we're going to change that. Enable, yes, we'll keep that. And then you can actually go down, it'll change. But let, let's let's just put it at 70, 75%. And it's a pool spa combo, so we don't really need to change spa mode percent because they're sharing the same body of water. But let's just keep it at 75%. We'll, go, we'll come back next week, check it. And what we're looking for is a good strong three and four. We want to maintain that. So there's a sweet spot, uh, but we'll find that out next week. Okay, and then just go back. You don't need to save anything, and that's it. So I wanted to add one more thing. So when we changed it to 75%, and I turned everything back on, the way it was before was salt good, cell, um, flow light, but none of these lights were lit up. Now since we've changed it, um, I just want to show you once we go back, we always control it. Even though there's buttons on that salt cell, we always control it from right here. So I'll show you while the pump is on, go into settings, IntelliClor, and let's just, just for demonstration purposes, let's just go all the way down to 45. I didn't push any buttons on the salt cell. We'll give it a minute. It shuts off. There's a small delay. And then it goes back down. The pump will actually turn itself back on. I did nothing here. I didn't touch anything on the salt cell itself. So just wanted to show you that just in case you were thinking you had to push buttons on the top of that salt cell to make it work. It's all through the easy touch. This this panel communicates with, with the, the salt cell. Anyway, hope that helps.